Hi everyone, it's Georgie here from Her Hair My Head. Uh, I've come on today to do a review of this lovely wig. She is called Arrow um, and she is from the Perucci collection, I think I've said that right, from uh, the brand Ellen Villa. Um, I've never tried this brand before. So she is a synthetic wig um, and the colour, which I really, really love, I'm, try I'm right by the window, so I'm hoping you can see these gorgeous highlights. Um, this colour is called Chocolate Rooted. Um, and it is rooted, but it's also just got these lovely sort of reddish brown highlights, especially, I think, around the face. They're really well placed and pretty highlights. All kind of like a money piece, but... Um, a bit more subtle so um, I'll show you the cap in a minute but this wig is left parted so it doesn't have a free parting so you can't change it um, which suits me because I like having my hair in a left hand part um, so the total length is 21 inches and then it's got this long kind of sweeping fringe which is almost 14 inches. I think it's 13.75 inches. Um, so, so far, I'm really loving this. The fibres, I mean, I've worn this a few times. Um, the fibres feel very soft. I haven't worn it enough to say whether or not it tangles a lot at the nape, but um, I think that's a given with most long synthetic wigs. They do get a bit tangly and they do get a bit of friction from your clothes. Um, so wigs never fit me right if I wanted a wig to fit me perfectly I'd have to get a custom so you can see here that the ear tabs don't sit in the right place for me but um, I just pull a bit of my bio hair out uh, and that's not that's not anything to do with this wig um, that's just I have an odd, odd shaped head so I wear average cap wigs but my measurement from ear to ear is um, slightly longer, I think, than normal. Um, so, something that I um, want to talk about, so this wig was gifted to me from Stacey at My Beautiful Wigs, and we had quite a long chat about the colour. Uh, now, because of my ear tab issue, and the fact that I have hair underneath, I, I have to get a, a colour match for these bits that poke out. Obviously, if you're bald, um, you don't have that problem because you can go for whatever colour you like. But when you have bio hair, and if it doesn't fit perfectly, it doesn't cover all of your bio hair, then you want it to sort of match. So for me, that means going for a darker brown base. But the thing that I found with um, synthetic wigs particularly is however good the lace front is, you always get quite visible knots. So I'm just gonna pull the hair back and come a bit closer. So this has an extended lace front, so it runs from here to here. But you can see, I mean, they're not terrible for a synthetic, but you can see the knots. Um, so there's things that you can do once you get your piece to um, to make the knots less visible. But if you're buying a synthetic piece in a dark brown shade, you're not gonna get invisible knots. You can't bleach the knots on th synthetic hair. If you buy a human hair piece, that's slightly different. But I feel like it's something that um, people who are buying synthetic pieces in darker shades need to be aware of because you should manage your expectations when the piece turns up. Um, and it's, I think often it can be really disappointing if you get a piece and then it doesn't look natural at the hairline. So, I mean, for me, the fact that you've got this sweeping fringe and the hair does fall forward a little bit, you're not seeing a huge amount of the front or the knots. But if you're someone who wants to clip their hair back, which is, you know, part of the joy of having the extended lace front, is if you wanted to style your hair, you can kind of do a nice clipped back style. If people get up close, they're gonna see those knots. So you can um, you can pluck the hairline to make it look less 
uniform. You can, I mean, this lace has already been trimmed, but you could trim the lace. It's a straight line at the moment. You could trim it in a slight zigzag. Um, and you can also put concealer on the parting. And also on the inside, you can put scar tape, which um, just makes it look slightly more realistic. So I'm just going to do a slow turn to show you the colour. It's got these lovely sort of very relaxed waves and it's quite layered. So you've got, um, I'm bringing it all forward now. There's not tons and tons of hair. There's enough coverage, but for me who I don't like really like volumey hair because I'm just not used to my hair ever being like that. This is really great because it's not straggly but it's not too much hair. So let's just do, put it how it would normally be. I'm gonna do a slow turn for you. So, I mean, it is, it is very layered. You have got lots of different layers. And if that was something that you didn't like, you could always trim the bottom layer. You know, look, it's quite, um, you know, it's not blunt cut at the ends, it's sort of wispy ends, but again, I quite like that look and it lends itself quite nicely to going up in a ponytail a low pony um, if you look on my feed you can see I've done some nice pictures with ponytails um, so I'm going to take it off and show you the cap I'm going to have a swig of tea first because I don't want to get too thirsty plus my tea's going cold if you have kids you, you'll know that you always end up drinking cold tea because they always want you, as soon as you make a cup of tea, they want you for something. Hence why I brought my tea in here. Have one more swig. So, as I said before, it's a left hand parting. I mean, there's a tiny bit of um, space. This is what maybe an inch, inch and a half, where you can change the part so you could do more of a zigzag or have it straight and then you've got this extended lace um, but you you wouldn't if you part the hair here where it's not let me just show you so if you part the hair in the place where you're not supposed to you'll be able to see the wefts so you don't want to do that um, right let's turn the cap so the back of the cap is wefted now most of the wigs that I wear are wefted. There's pros and cons to these. So for me, I um, I get really hot and sweaty and the wefts let lots of air in. So it means it's cooler. Um, and there's the ear tabs. They're a sort of soft velvety and they've also got, um, you know, like something, I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a hard bit of plastic that you can slightly bend, which helps them to fit to your head. Um, and then you've just got little straps here. So you've got velvety again, which is nice and soft.